Good morning, welcome to Catex TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. You can follow us on Twitter at Catex TV, and I'm pleased to note Vanny uh, joining us on Twitter. Thank you. Some really big news just hit the wires coming out of uh, reinsurance in London. Uh, XL, the uh, heavyweight down in Bermuda, uh, has announced that it is uh, pursuing a bid for the venerable reinsurer Catlin in London. Catlin has confirmed that it has received an approach from XL Group regarding a possible combination of the companies. It's a two and a half billion pound bid, apparently, for the Lloyd's heavyweight. It will see Catlin investors receiving about 410 pence in cash per share, as well as uh, 0.13 of each XL share for each common Catlin share. Catlin said that the combination of the firms would create a leading player in PNC reinsurance and expand opportunities for their combined underwriting teams. That's Catlin saying that, so that means if they're saying that, they're interested. Catlin also said that discussions are ongoing. There's no certainty that they would lead to any transactions. The final details of any offer would be subject to the completion of mutual due diligence. Catlin said it would make a further announcement in due course. Catlin shares are up 14% today on the, uh, on the FTSE in London. This is uh, quite big news. Mike McGavick is making a big news, and Stephen J. Catlin is uh, probably the most respected fellow in the industry in London. Reinsurers are going to have to be making some tough choices. As of last night, uh, TRIA uh, failed to be renewed. TRIA, of course, is the U.S. federal government Terrorism Risk Insurance Act that was passed after the September 11, 2001 terror attacks. It's going to expire effective December 31st of this year was held up by one senator, a retiring Republican senator from Oklahoma named Tom Coburn. He uh, believes that the private market will find a way of covering terrorism, and he sees TRIA as effectively offering the industry a subsidy. Um, he may think whatever he wants, but this is going to put billions of dollars of projects and hundreds of thousands of jobs at risk. With no terrorism coverage available, some large projects are going to be put on hold. Nothing can be done about this until next January, when the new Senate and the new House reconvene. The hackers calling themselves the Guardians of Peace continue to cause trouble for Sony Pictures. Uh, they made ominous threats yesterday against movie theaters, showing the Sony Pictures film The Interview. Uh, in the threats, they referred to the 9-11 terror attacks, saying that uh, you had better remember this if you were planning on attending the movie. The movie, of course, is a uh, humorous movie, so to speak. It uh, talks about a uh, hypothetical assassination, a successful assassination attempt on the uh, South Korean leader Kim Jong Un. South Koreans say, or the North Koreans say, they have nothing to do with the hack, although they uh, are sympathetic to the uh, hacker's intentions. Uh, Sony, meanwhile, has begun to back down a little bit. Their New York premiere, which was scheduled for tonight at the uh, Manhattan's landmark Sunshine Cinema, has been canceled. Sony is also offering movie theaters nationally the option to opt out of showing the movie. Insured losses from natural catastrophes and man-made events fell significantly in 2014, according to Swiss Re. Uh, they dipped about 24% down to $34 billion compared to $45 billion last year. Natural catastrophes accounted for about $106 billion of total economic losses and $29 billion of insured losses. That shows the gap that John Nelson at Lloyd's is always talking about. $29 billion is only insured. Meanwhile, $106 billion actually occurred. The Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, have listed, has lifted a moratorium on the death penalty Wednesday as the government declared three days of mourning and grappled with the aftermath of the attack on a school by the Pakistani Taliban that killed 145 people in Peshawar. Some uh, 132 of them were students, many of whom were actually lined up against a wall and executed. Nine suicide bombers uh, stormed the school. Apparently, uh, it's yet unknown, but there might be uh, two or three members of the team that attacked the school uh, that have, in fact, been captured. I predict that this is going to be a seminal moment in Pakistan, which has been developing a middle class 
And the fact that 132 children were killed in a school is finally going to turn the tide there and have the people begin to say, what is going on? And we need protection from the government. This could be the straw that breaks the camel's back there. Meanwhile, in central Indonesia, the death toll from a mudslide continues to rise. It's up to 56 now. There's still some 55 people missing. Um, this is in uh, central Java province's uh, Banjarnega district. Uh, the rescue attempt had to be called off because of more rain. Speaking of XL Group, they're offering a new product covering chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear events. Uh, they note that this is a growing concern worldwide. Yes, it's true. I read the papers too. The chief underwriting officer, Stephen Ashwell of Crisis Management, said that the new product goes beyond anything previously available in the insurance market. He said it's triggered only when a perpetrator has malicious intent, so it eliminates that gray area between the characterization of a terrorist, an activist, or an extremist. So malicious intent is pretty broad, so that's good news for a policyholder. Essentially, it's not about who committed the act, it's just that it was not an accident. Uh, they've also expanded the geographical area. If any XL client is affected, they're covered no matter how far away they might be from the uh, actual event. And again, speaking of North Korea, today marks the official end of the three-year mourning period for the late leader Kim Jong-il, who is the uh, father of the current leader. Uh, the anniversary of Mr. Jong-il's death three years ago was observed by sirens ringing out across the country at 12 noon. This Korean custom to uh, have three years of mourning after the death of a parent. The anniversary of the death of Kim Jong-il is not a public, a public holiday, but activity slowed with people expected to take part in meetings exalting his memory and making a show of solemn behavior, not drinking alcohol and not taking part in any kind of entertainment. It shouldn't be too hard to do. I think there's precious little entertainment going on anywhere in North Korea, unless you count the loudspeakers that are in every single apartment as entertainment. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.